Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 8th through the 14th, but the timing is fluid. This is a message I'm picking up for you, and it will happen in divine timing. So keep in mind uh, that not every reading is for you, so this reading might not be for you at all. But let's just see what comes up. Divine timing is something that I want to say to you. So it's time for something. I'm not sure what. Let's see what comes up. What do we, what do we, what do we have? What do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. Older man. Dealings or relationship with an older man. March. Maybe an older man born in March. Now, some of you are born in March. Um, someone is behaving stupidly. Now, I'm not sure who it is. I'm not sure. Whoever this older man is. Whether I don't know who it is, but we have an older man that is behaving stupidly. Um, something to do with the month of March. Um, somebody's actions are going to be dealt with by the looks of things. Their stupidity. Um, dealings or relationship with an older man. Whoever this older man is, they're acting stupid. What, what do we have for Aries? Strength. Strength. Archangel Ariel. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. So this is a card of courage. It is a card of... Uh, confidence, great strength, courage to let go of fear. Somebody's going to be letting go of fear this month, or did I say month? Or this, well, divine timing. This is finding great strength. Uh, something about health as well. Your health may be starting to improve. Um, I, do, I do see uh, you gaining some sort of strength. Through kindness. Your, your vibration may be shifting this week. You may be raising your vibration in some way. A lot of discipline. A lot of determination. And no fear. I feel like there's no fear here. There's a lack of fear. There's nothing to be afraid of. You know, you're taking control. Mastering your emotions. Um... Three of Swords Reverse. Now, this is on the path to recovery. It's the end of heartache. It's the end of heart pain. Okay? It is. I mean, the Three of Swords Reverse that is on the path. It's, it's healing. And I see healing here as well. Healing over some heart pain. Healing over some, something to do with your heart. There's a healing of your heart. This is leaving the past hurts behind. Headed down the path to recovery. And behind you is a union, a partnership. But that's in the past. So we do have a love partnership here. A union in the past. Emotional support. Love. A lot of love. I think that you, you have somebody here that really loves you a lot. Or they did in the past. You know... There could be a reconciliation with somebody from the past, and I don't, I don't, I don't say that. I don't like to say that, but there could be. Um, sorry, I had to move something out of my desk. So I feel like there is somebody from the past, and I and I do feel like it's somebody from the past that you are going to be uh, coming together with, whether whether you're just friends with this person or not. Somebody may just be express. Somebody from the past may be expressing feelings to you, or you may run into somebody from the past. Okay, doesn't mean you're going to be in a relationship with them, but you, I don't know. There could be a reunion here. There is some, and I feel like it's somebody from the past. Okay, maybe somebody that broke your heart, or you broke their heart. There's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of pain. 
Um, anyhow, I do feel like it's, it's it. There is some sort of expression or coming together with a partner from the past. Maybe it's just a, it could just be a conversation. Who knows? Um, Empress mother could be a mother of children. Um, but this is a mother. It is. It could be a Taurus. Could be a Libra. Could be anybody. This even could be your energy if you're a female. This is creating a new life, birthing a new life. Um, in the future, so the, there is a new life that is beginning. This is the this is a rebirth. There's a rebirth. There's a there's a there's a fresh start here. So I do feel like we have uh, somebody here that is very loving, very gentle, very kind. That is a it's good. this is a blessing. Okay, that is receiving some sort of blessing is about to be blessed. Somebody is about to be blessed with the beginning of a new life. We have somebody here that is a creator. This is somebody that is absolutely lovely, beautiful, glowing, um, valuable, abundant. Um, so yeah, there, this is the end of heartache as well with the three of swords reversed. If there's been some pain or some heartbreak or whatever, I feel like it's over because there's some sort of tender, loving care coming your way. Uh, especially, and if you're a male watching this, you may, and, and if you're a female, there is somebody that sees your beauty. We definitely have a union that is coming into focus here. Okay, it is. After there's been some heartache, and I feel like this is somebody that you already know. I feel like this is somebody that you already know. I feel like you're going to have to have courage. You're not. You're going to have to let go of fear, and you're going to have to leave the past hurts behind. Like you're going to have to leave the heartache of the past behind you. Okay, this is a this is an opportunity for love and abundance and and uh, tender loving care. This is a new life. This is the birth of a new life. Okay. Ooh, five of swords. Now five of swords is defeat. It's betrayal. I feel like I feel like we have somebody here that is. Uh, it's interesting, right next to this stupid person. Somebody is jealous of you. Somebody is jealous, or they're jealous of the, this woman. Whoever this woman is, there's been betrayal. There's been there's been uh, uh, somebody was pushed away, or they were neglected, or they were abused. There could have been some abuse, mental, or there is. This is this is somebody that is looking back. So there's been some previous, you know, neglect. I want to say neglect, and I think that somebody is now they're looking back, and they're and they it feels like they. This is of somebody that is very smug, very cocky. Maybe, maybe could have even been when they were younger. Because we have an older man here, and we have like a middle-aged man here. Somebody may have been very egotistical, and they they push somebody away. I do feel like it's somebody from the past. I think there's a reconnection with somebody, and I don't know if it's love. I mean, it could be because the and maybe it was at one time, but there's been a lot of suffering and there's been a lot of pain. But anyhow. Um, this is the birth of a new life that comes after pain. It's interesting because you, you don't become you don't you don't give birth unless you have pain. Here's the pain. So yeah, this is the end of a painful situation. You may some of you may have been in a connection with somebody that was very flirty. This was a like somebody that was very um, uh, wishy washy, you know, and that could be the end of that thing. Anyhow. Um, Five of Swords, we upright. That's egotistical, cocky, um, wanting to prove something, push somebody away, didn't care who they hurt, selfish. We have a very selfish individual here. I don't know if this person pushed you away or they just didn't. They wanted to win at all costs. They had a, they had a uh, um, image to live up to. So somebody had an image to let, and it didn't matter who got hurt. And anyway, I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like they've grown up. Maybe. Um, have they grown up? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. So we have somebody here that has definitely betrayed somebody. They were unfaithful. They were selfish, greedy, egotistical. We have a greedy, egotistical, financial, money-hungry individual who is, was more interested in financial success and, and climbing the ladder and social status than they were interested in uh, creating a life or being a parent or uh, love anyhow they were more interested in everything but love and now I feel like they're feeling betrayed they have and that's how they may have betrayed they may have betrayed somebody with their materialistic values and now and that was stupid that was really really stupid now now there's gonna be a chance to heal a connection that's what I see
now that is saying goodbye, headed towards the Empress. So I do feel like somebody has been in an emotionally disappointing situation, perhaps with a partner that was um, supportive, or but still, it feels like this person was uh, fake. I just got to be honest with you. I feel like this person was, you know, uh, they may they may have seemed like they were all lovey dovey, but they aren't. This is like a um, prince charming. I feel like it's a prince charming that isn't really isn't really so and anyway but I think that somebody is walking away from an emotionally disappointing situation and headed towards abundance and tender love and care okay they're walking away from this uh, disappointing situation and they're headed right towards love right towards abundance okay um, this is a new life. So we have somebody here that is saying goodbye. And I feel like they're saying goodbye to a partnership that they did get into a relationship. They get, they get, they're saying goodbye to another relationship to do so. That's how I feel. Um, yeah, partnership. There's our, another partnership. There's been some indecisiveness. Somebody's been torn. They've been at a crossroads. Fear might have been in the way. There could have been extreme fear. Um, that stopped somebody from following their heart or going in a direction towards love. But I think there's going to be a sudden departure here. I do feel like there's going to be a sudden departure. There is a higher power involved with the, with the Hierophant upright. This is a God or a higher power or a divine connection. This is somebody that has a direct connection to God that is protecting somebody, that is guiding somebody. This is guidance. So somebody is going to be guided. They're going to be receiving a nudge, I believe, to go towards this uh, beautiful opportunity. So anyway, um, this is headed right towards uh, somebody that is very caring, very loving, very kind, very generous. This is somebody that is very motherly. This is a mother of some sort. Um, now, there is some sort of protection because the Hierophant is here. This is a card of faith and trust. Have faith and trust. Believe. Believe in, in yourself. Believe in yourself. This is like a higher power that is protecting somebody and guiding somebody away from a situation that is emotionally unfulfilling that they have been stuck in. They've been stuck there. They've been at the crossroads for a while now. But it's been painful. But this is releasing the pain. You know, it is about releasing the pain and uh, creating, rebirthing. This is the rebirth. This is a birth of a new life. It's about creating a new life after being betrayed. And somebody's not going to be happy. We, we definitely have somebody here that is financially greedy. This is somebody that is extremely greedy. They are money mad. Okay, this is somebody that is greedy, 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 greedy. Materialistic. Okay, so we have a materialistic individual here that has, uh, it, this is a hostile situation. You know, this is hostile, this is somebody doesn't care who they hurt. They don't care who they hurt as long as they win. This greedy in the per in person is going to be upset. Is going to be very, very upset with somebody's strength and determination to walk away. So yeah, I feel like this is a week of replacing fear with faith. Because this is letting go of fear and this is faith. This is faith. Okay, this is a higher power that is involved. It's in the shadow though, isn't that funny that it, it doesn't want to focus? Because it wants you to listen. Listen to your gut. Listen. Pay attention. You need to pay attention. Follow your gut. Leave. Leave. So anyway, somebody is headed towards somebody that is very beautiful that can take very 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 good care of them this person does everything with love 
but you will, this is a sudden decision. So you may have to make a, somebody may, may, ha, may have to make a spur of the moment decision. We have somebody here who thinks they have won, but they haven't. They haven't won. They think that they have won, but they haven't. We have somebody here that doesn't know their value as well. But the Empress knows her value. She does everything with love and is creating a new life and is about to give birth to a new life. There's a blessing that is coming. And it comes in divine timing. And the time is now. Good luck.